And good evening. We're tracking the traffic at CVS Miami. We've just had our latest advisory. Of course, that was the 8 o'clock advisory come out. We do want to update you on that. You can see winds 120 miles per hour, still a Category 3 hurricane. It is expected to strengthen, though, once it moves to the north through that very warm water. Still about 110 miles southeast of Key West, and it will be moving in that northwest direction up towards the lower Keys as we head overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. At that point, they expect it will make landfall near Category 4 hurricane then move up the west coast of Florida. Unfortunately for our friends towards Naples, Fort Myers, and Tampa, it's going to be an overnight system. Very scary to have such a strong storm move through overnight. It'll likely move up towards the Florida Georgia line by Monday afternoon and then up into Tennessee, Alabama, and finally dissipate. Hurricane force winds definitely expected on the west coast of Florida. We will likely be feeling those here as well, at least hurricane force gusts from time to time. We've already measured uh, several hurricane force gusts throughout Broward County and a couple in Miami-Dade County, and we are already getting reports of some damage uh, caused by some wind gusts. Flood watch in effect until Monday evening. Flooding, of course, an increased risk for us. Many areas will likely see 6 to 10 inches of rain. Some isolated spots could see 10 to 20 in excess of 25 inches toward the keys as that center of the storm moves on over. Another threat we're slightly concerned about is the tornado threat. It's been increasing this evening as we've seen several tornado warnings and some confirmed tornadoes on the ground move inland uh, towards Broward and Miami-Dade County. You can continue tracking the tropics here on CBSMiami.com. We'll have another update after our 11 p.m. advisory. Have a good night.